dampened this healthy blaze, this calls for precision and firefighting teamwork. Wasted seconds could prove fatal to anyone trapped in that burning aircraft. that for action. In fact, this is just a practice session at the Ministry of Aviation Fire Service Training School. But that doesn't mean that recruits can treat this exercise as a game. They've got to prove that after seven months training, every man is capable of tackling a real emergency. There's no time to stop and think. Every man must know his duty off by heart. Hesitancy and confusion have no place here, and recruits are never allowed to forget this vital rule, a rule which instructors are always on the lookout to maintain. foam and carbon dioxide are used to tackle blazing aircraft, but it still requires a large slice of courage to move in on a fire which is likely to explode at any moment. Accidents can happen, of course. After all, no self-respecting firefighter would like to see his trousers go up in smoke. Here at Stansted in Essex, much of the training is concentrated on tackling burning aircraft. This old Lincoln bomber has survived quite a few burn-ups, and there'll be several more before these recruits join a regular team. In through the door this time, but it's not always that easy. The firefighter must also learn to cut an escape route for the passengers trapped inside, for their lives now depend on his training. He might be an explorer on Everest. Stopwatch precision, and it's taken just three minutes to transform a hot blazing fire of fuel into this cold-looking Christmas card scene. 